Welcome back to Broke Ass EDC, home of the Working Stiffs Everyday Carry. Got a little drop there. I saw that on TikTok. That's what you're supposed to do when you take a patch. You gotta throw it down. Got the uh, a damn miscreant, dirty little miscreant in the weave variety. Bam! Soak that up, folks. That is a Brad Zinkerman design done with weave, which it it just I mean there's no ifs ands or buts who designed that one. If you uh, if you've been looking around a little bit, yeah, I got to bump into him at that knife show, and uh, I wished I'd have had this with me. I'd have tried to talk him into scratching or something on it, cause man. This thing hits the spot. Now, this one started off its life in the gray. But the boy there, the homeboy backpack B, he had this under purge. And I was like, man, I want that. But it needs some love. So he throw some anno on it. We got the screws matching the, uh, the hardware, matching the back spacer with a little pocket clip action. And then throw this uh, low voltage blue on it. And man, those polished holes will just pop, don't they? So overall, this thing's coming in at 6.875 inches. Blade length of that, 3 inches dead on. Of that CPM 20 CV drop point. Flat ground, stone washed. Sliciness. Then you go into the handle at 3.875 inches. Thickness 0.36 on the handle of that titanium with the speed holes. And this thing comes in at 2.21 OZs. Now I've got to say, like I mentioned at that show, this, if you go up to the Brad... Zinkerman table, this is a damn heavyweight on that table. In the rest of the world, this thing's a feather. But if you, the uh, the custom that I think this is kind of based off of, man, if you haven't got a chance to pick up one, just pick one up if you ever given the opportunity. That thing, it almost feels so delicate. It's so light. Oh, but it is fire. And then it pops just as good as this one off that flipper action. Now, it tucks away and hides perfectly. It's got that CEO type gentleman's carry. Everything is nice and clean on it. Minimum on the hardware. Uh, you've got your two screws to hold your back spacer, your pivot, and just the same on the back. No reversible on this lefty. Sorry about that. But damn, she is fire. All lined up, dead nuts. On the lock up, good and solid, up and down, nothing. Good clean poppy action. Pocket clip's going to leave it sitting low. This is more, I think, like a jacket pocket knife. You, With its weight, you can definitely pull off carrying it in a jacket, up in the chest pocket, even in a shirt pocket. It's not going to weigh it down. And that that is a good-looking blade. I mean, that's CPM, no over-the-top billboarding, just the uh, maker's mark, that BZ goodness there. Three fingers solid. Fourth one's hanging on for just a little bit. And no, you're not. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can throw a lanyard on it if that's your thing. But a good solid, you know, three plus, I guess, on the uh, on mine. Most normal hands will get four on it. I don't think I'd really want to choke up on it. It's, it's really not too much of a finger tool. More of a sharpening, I guess. A small finger might feel more comfortable. The jimping back here puts the back rest of your thumb pretty seated in. 
and the top of the blade feels good. There's a little bit of an edge on there that's been ground down, so it's got a, a nice solid feel to it, a little texture. It kind of grabs you, and she drops like a hammer. Perfectness. And I'm a, uh, I got a little bit of a love for the whole gentleman's carry, Dr. Knife style. And uh, these things, this one is just fire. I liked it to begin with, but then once I, I got a chance to hold the uh, the custom that, that it's based off of, there's nothing left to, uh, there's nothing left to talk about. So I think this is the uh, Miscreant 3.0. I'll have to dig in. I mean, I don't, I guess that might be because of customs or something, but Zinkerman is fire when it comes to this style knife. And uh, yeah, his custom stuff is going to cost you, but I think you're really getting something that's got some serious craftsmanship and design elements in it that are fire. Y'all. Drop a line. What do you think about the uh, gentleman's style carry? Is Anchorman the king of gentleman's carry? Mm. And uh, smash that thumbs up button. And yeah, if you haven't already, hit the, the subscribe. Click all of the, you know, get that notification when Big ED, EDC, Broke EDC drops the hammer on some new content. Y'all. Stay sharp, stay safe.